We're gonna go three to seven right now. Uh, we'll just go. Let's go clockwise. So you start. Not right? anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. <laughs> Nick said that one day. I was Yo. like, "You mean counterclockwise? You fucking idiot." I was like, that's "Wow, great. that's bad." So who's your who's your number three quarterback? How about seven? You want to go down? Oh, you want to go from seven? Ooh. Oh yeah, we should do that. Ooh. I like that's horny. Boss thinking on his toes today. That was fire. That was good. I gonna, almost ruined the whole thing. Get, we're gonna get hot right away. <laughs> yeah, I almost ruined the whole thing. All right, seven. All right, go. this this kind of I, this is this is the one that took me the longest. Honestly, I was looking like, yo, who am I gonna crack my top five? But I went with Big Ben. Um, he wasn't. He hasn't been all, you know the greatest the last couple of years. He's a Hall of Fame caliber quarterback, but fuck yeah. He has the weapons around him that allowed him to succeed, I think. Usually you say, like, yo, that guy can throw anyone open. I don't think Big Ben can throw anyone open, like, these these days now. But, I mean, nowadays, these days now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got A.B. and Le'Veon Bell. That helps him out a ton. He had Martavis Bryant, you know, the last couple of years. Has he, though? I mean, when he was out there, he was us- utilizing him downfield. Fair so enough. I just think Big Ben got it done. They've been in the playoffs, you know, just about every year they're in contention or winning the North. So... I still think coming into this year with the weapons around him, I think Big Ben is still a top 10, and then I have him in my top seven quarterbacks in the NFL. Mm. I, don't, I don't know about Big Ben, man. Should we, should we mention if we have him on our list or not? How are we, how are we no, no, no. Let's just go. Wait, we'll we'll, just we'll let it go. We'll let it All go. Right. So who, who you got at seven? Jared Goff. Stop. I knew he was going to put him on this list. I knew it already. What, you don't like Jared Goff? It's just how can you say Jared Goff already? That, that's like saying – I don't know if you guys have him in, but like Derek Carr off last year. You know what I'm saying? Off that like kind of MVP oh. year, but he got hurt. Let, let the man explain be like, before I go crazy. Right. Tim, you sucked Derek Carr though after that year. I liked him. The going, But last year I said openly that like I'm nervous about him coming into the season. But he also had a – anyway, Jared Goff. Yeah. Jared Goff, 28 touchdowns, 7 interceptions last year. I'm completely throwing away year one of his NFL career because he had Jeff Fisher, the quarterback <laughs> killer. I feel like right? every stat should have an asterisk that says Jeff Fisher coach. He was coaching yeah. at the time. Yo, yeah. think about it, though, right? <laughs> Case Keenum had a career year last year. He was away from Jeff Fisher. Nick Foles ends up winning a Super Bowl as a backup quarterback, doesn't have Jeff Fisher. And, and Jared Goff goes from a guy that didn't know where the sun rose and the sun set on that, oh my on God. that hard knocks. <laughs> Right, he's an he, idiot. And, and then, yeah, and then everyone's saying he's a bust, number one pick. Yeah, Wentz goes two, and he's lightning, lighting it up. So I'm going with golf. Twenty eight touchdowns, seven interceptions. The pairing between him and McVay is delicious. I can't <laughs> wait to see that shit again for year two. The weapons around him are gonna have him, are gonna allow him to flourish. It's a division that I think a couple of the teams. There's some teams that are improving, but the team that has been the dog in that division is going to take a step back, and that's Seattle. And I just think that, yo, year two is year two and three is when you see the quarterback take the next step. And I think golf, another year in the McVay system, yo, Kirk Cousins, year two under McVay, had that wild-ass season, his best season to date. So I'm expecting that. And the, the talent around him is, is going to allow him to flourish. Here's the only thing I'll say against that. I think he has all the capabilities of, by the end of the year, being a top-seven quarterback. But at this point, to put him in top-seven, he's never carried an offense. Like, I got to see a guy carry an offense he just He doesn't by have to carry an offense, though, with the weapons around him. Like, with Gurley behind him? like That's true. But why that's, would you expect Goff to carry that offense? Because if, he's, if he is a top-seven quarterback, then he should be able to. Right? He, he, he's, Yo, how but many I, guys carry offenses, though, in the league? A lot of guys. I mean, he's shown he was able to. 28 and 7 is respectable. But he's. he. All right, the Rams threw the 24th more pa- most passes in the league last year. Because they don't have to. They don't have to throw. I Before I put a guy in my top, I'm trying to see him at least carry an offense at the rate of like a 60 40 split or a 55 45 think, split. I don't want to. Like, I don't use the term. I will but use if it, your but team is winning. It's like man. a victim of circumstance. Like, that's, that's, that's what I, but, he has. So he has the. One of the best running backs behind him. Why not utilize him? I don't think he's top seven. But what about Mark Sanchez? Mark Sanchez had those great years where he had come he on, had, man. He, look, he had under <laughs> under double <laughs> pump the brakes, bro. Exactly though, but he had under double digit in in interceptions. He had over twenty uh, touchdowns thrown. And so what happens? You give him more of that, like shouldering the load, and he can't handle it. And I need to see golf handle it before I can put him in the top seven. Yo, by the way, the Mark Sanchez comparison, awful. Yo, he's, Rex, Rex I'm not Ryan, comparing the two. No, no, saying, the two you're, yard passes. you're mentioning the scenario, right? Rex Ryan was not an offensive mind like McVay was. All the weapons that the Jets have were pretty much out the door because they were up in age. Well, Mark Sanchez was okay until they stripped him of his weapons. 
And until they gave him more of a workload. Also, Mark Sanchez would go 21 for 28 with 120 yards. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm not comparing the two players. I'm just comparing the two situations where you can look really good if not a lot of the offense is on your shoulder. Well, I, I agree. Though, wait, the wait, difference he, is McVay. 28 touchdowns yeah. is, a good, is a lot of touchdowns, though. Yo, in year two? That's what I'm saying. Here come 40 this year, and then you guys are going to be laughing. I see the argument, but I'm going to be laughing. Seven. <laughs> Did this in my own life